Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. We continue our reflection on the virtue of joy. Yesterday, Paul told us, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. Do not worry about anything. I will pray and supplication. Make your request known to God. And the peace of God will guard your mind and heart in Christ Jesus. Today we look at Habakkuk. Habakkuk chapter 3, verses 17 to 19. The prophet says, Though the fig tree does not blossom, and no fruit is on the vines, though the produce of the only fails, and the fields yield no food, though the flock is cut off from the fold, and there is no herd in the stalls, yet I will rejoice in the Lord, I will exalt in the God of my salvation. God the Lord is my strength. He makes my feet like the feet of a deer and makes me tread upon the heights. My dear brother, my dear sister, Habakkuk is displaying absolute confidence in God. Earlier on, he was talking about an impending calamity. So if you read verse 16, for instance, he will say that, I hear and I tremble within, my lips quiver at the sound, weakness invades my bones, and my steps tremble beneath me. I wait quietly for the day of calamity to come upon the people who attack us. So it's an impending calamity. The people are going through their own struggles. But then he would say with all confidence that no matter what happens, no matter the great suffering, he will still have a reason to rejoice in the Lord. And that is real faith and hope. It's only genuine trust and hope that can make us remain rejoicing in a situation like this. Look at the scenario again. He says that though the fig tree does not blossom, no fruit is on the vines. Even if the olive fails and the fields yield no food, Though the flock is cut off from the food and there's no head in the stalls. It's like everything is off. Call it ground zero. What reason would we have to rejoice in the Lord? But he says, yet, I rejoice in the Lord and exult in the God of my salvation. Why? Because the Lord is my strength. That is a reason. Not the circumstances, but that inner disposition with God grant, the Lord is my strength. Let God be your strength. When God is your strength, you have another reason to keep pressing on, even when nothing seems to working right. And because God is a strength, He says, He makes my feet like a deer, it's like the feet of a deer. And makes me tread upon the height. God will lift you over and above the circumstances. And that is the reason Habakkuk remained hopeful. That is the reason he will still rejoice. Not focusing on the calamity of the suffering, but focusing on God who is his strength. God who can equip him. So today, don't focus so much on what is bringing you down, what is stopping you from rejoicing. Focus on God who is your strength, who can lift you up and transform you, that you can meet the situation square on. So pray. Pray for strength. Pray that you can say with Habakkuk, that though the food produce no crops, and the hogs has stalls stand empty of cattle, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. Though everything around me 
suggest otherwise, I will still rejoice in the Lord because I'm confident of what God can do. Let that be your prayer as you go through today. Bow down your heads and let's pray. Almighty ever living God, your word is telling us today that we shouldn't wait for perfect circumstances before we can rejoice. And that because you are our strength, even if nothing is going well, we should still rejoice in you. Because you then equip us in our situation. So, Father, we thank you for this word. And we are praying that may it exceed in our hearts. So, we we'll have a reason to always to rejoice in you. Father, be our strength, because we are only human. That even as you guard our hearts and our minds from worrying, give us the grace to learn how to rejoice in you always because you are our strength. Hear and answer us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.